to somebody for my entrepreneurship class, I'm gonna get copyrighted. Oh my gosh. Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Drew and I'm back today with another video. down below today's video is going to be a week vlog of in my life as a UGA college student in quarantine hey y'all I'm just not realizing that I said that I was in quarantine I just want to make it clear that I was never in quarantine never came in contact with someone who was positive never tested positive I was just referring to me being on campus and not in actual in-person classes so now let's get back into the video <laughs> This week, I have a good amount of stuff going on compared to other weeks. We have our first football game this week. I have work. I have some interviews I need to get done. I have tests. There's just a whole lot, a whole lot. So I'm just gonna bring y'all with me throughout this week so y'all can see kind of what it's like to be a college student in a pandemic that's also socially distancing. But I'm still gonna show you guys how it is to be on campus in this sort of situation because it's different for me. If you've heard me talk about how school was last semester i didn't do much vlogging last semester because i was so busy but sorry i just got a notification okay but um i didn't i was more busy last year which is why you guys didn't see a whole lot of vlogs or vlogs at all because i was literally going from class to practices to other practices to work to other work to school work it was just a whole lot so i didn't do much vlogging last year because i was so busy and now it's like, I still am kind of busy, but I don't have to go in person to practice. Like I haven't been doing stepping like how I did last year. I haven't been dancing like I, like how I was last year. I don't have any exec roles this year because I thought this year was gonna be more difficult for me as far as classes when it's really kind of completely opposite. So I didn't sign up for any exec roles this year so far. So. It's just like I have more free time, but I still have a lot of score too. So I'm just show y'all how it is to do all of that. So it is currently Tuesday and I didn't start on Monday because yesterday I literally was at home. I just got back to school last night. So I'm still trying to like get used to being here after being home for the weekend. And it is 12.43 p.m. right now. All I've done is I've gone to my classes. Like you see, I'm still kind of like in my night clothes. I slept through my first class, which I'm not sure. That's not an okay thing. I had an 8 a.m. It's not good that I slept through my first class, but my first class, something happened with the Zoom, so we ended up not meeting. So I guess that was kind of like God being like, you know what, I'ma just let you sleep in a little bit more since classes are gonna meet anyway. So I got that little extra hour of sleep. Then I went to my second class of the day, and that was online with Zoom. It wasn't too bad. We talked about stress. Yeah, we talked about stress today and where you can get stress from, post-traumatic stress, all that sort of stuff. And then I went to my last class that was also online. That was Intro to Entrepreneurship, and we talked about interviewing and all of that because we're going to start getting to customer discovery. So I haven't done too much so far today. So we're going to go make lunch right now. I'm going to show you guys it while I'm making it and then I'm gonna see y'all when we done. I'm gonna see y'all when we done. Y'all can see I have this really big box of spinach. I got this from H Mart. You get boxes like this from like Sam's, BJ's. Um, I'm not sure if Walmart sells big boxes like this, but they might as well. And what I like to do is I like to get my skillet. If you're at home, just get a pan or whatever. And I take a little bit of olive oil. This is gonna help saute it. And of course, make sure that nothing sticks. You don't need too much olive oil. So I kind of just put in maybe a tablespoon and a half of olive oil in there. You do not need too much because um, there's a lot of water that these greens hold. And when you saute it and you're making it, all of that's gonna make more sauce and like more liquids in it. So you don't want to put too much in right now or you're gonna have way too much liquid later on. So I like to put that in there. You can hear it sizzling just a little bit. I like to get me some adobo, 
but you already know this is not the Goya version because we don't support Goya no more. If you're still supporting Goya, I don't know what you're doing. So I just like to get the regular adobo seasoning. And it's really, it's kind of like the same thing. It's kind of like a mix of different seasonings. You could, you could use it for a lot of different things. Before I got this, if you don't have adobo, what I used to do is salt with garlic and onion powder. More garlic than onion powder. And yeah, that's kind of like how to do, like how, that is kind of like how I like to do it. Whatever. So I'm gonna put this in there. Don't put too much of this though, because Goya does have a very strong taste. There's a lot of seasoning in here, so you don't need too much. And I like to use this spoon when I'm making it, just so that it can strain out all that extra liquid. So I'm not sure if y'all can hear that, but that little pop in, that's how you know your oil is hot. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my freshly washed spinach. Make sure you wash your greens before you do it. I just put mine in hot water with salt to cool it off and put it in. Now that everything is in here, you kind of see all the heat going. You just wanna get everything down and in the pan. And I'm still on low. You see it's still kind of on simmer. So if you're on an actual stove, just put it on low you do not want to burn your spinach and you don't want to overcook so then what I like to do is I just like to get this cover and I put the cover over it and now when you put the coat when you put the cover over it it makes everything cook a little bit faster and it also just helps everything simmer and reduce down and I also do like to keep this little top open as well so the steam can escape and it's not too too much water so if you're at home and you're putting the top on your pan or your pot or whatever you're using don't cover it fully kind of like leave it a little bit ventilated so it can open so from here spinach does not take too long to cook it should on low it should probably take maybe three to five minutes to cook. It just depends on how soft you like your spinach. Okay y'all, so it's literally only been maybe like a minute since that last video, that last clip. And look how much it's already simmered and reduced down. So it's like that huge box, it looks like a lot if you're having a regular spinach salad, but when you cook your spinach, you make sauteed spinach, like it's gonna look like nothing. And this will probably last me maybe three or four days, it depends on how heavy handed I am. And y'all see, I didn't even add that much oil at the beginning, but you see how much sauce and like how much liquid there is in here? I'm trying to tell y'all. Oh yeah, so this is probably as much as I'm gonna eat. And looking at, let me pour some of that back in there. But looking at the rest that's in here, this is probably only gonna last me maybe one more day, probably two days, if I'm good about it. But that's just bad on me because I've never bought these boxes before, so I didn't know how much it was gonna make. That's why I only made one. But I do have two more boxes, so I'll still be straight for the week. And that's really all I do. I just eat it just like this. Nothing extra, I don't really need anything else because if you don't know, spinach is a darker green. Darker greens are like kinda like those super greens and they fill you up more. So literally, I get filled off of just this. I don't really need anything else and it's pretty good. So I just finished eating my lunch and I just got dressed for work. I didn't do anything special today, just some regular yoga pants and this pretty girl's rock shirt that I love. And I'm probably gonna wear this pink mask as well just to match the shirt. And that's about it. I'm gonna go get ready to go to work or I'm actually about to head out right now to go to work. Okay y'all, so I'm back in my room as y'all can see. I'm also back in the clothes I was wearing earlier. I don't know about y'all, but I do, like I was raised up in a house where we don't wear outside clothes inside the house. So now I just don't like wearing clothes that I wore outside into my room, especially if I'm gonna be like sitting on my bed or something. So I changed back into like some comfortable clothes. That's why I'm back in the same clothes from earlier. But I just left work. It's after six right now. And I'm just gonna grab a Pop-Tart to eat real quick just cause I'm feeling a little snacky. And then I have to interview one of my classmates in my entrepreneurship class just so we get used to interviewing people. And after that, then I'll probably talk with y'all again once I'm done interviewing her. But I'm happy to be back in the room because usually I be out 
working real late, so I'm happy I don't have to go back outside the room again tonight. The table, $30 okay, off the table Okay, so right I finished now. talking with Buy my classmate some and, uh, time ago, and right now I'm actually in one of the um, University of Union at our school puts on a whole lot of events for people to do, but of course, since we can't go out, they're doing a lot of things on Zoom and online. So, right now, I'm actually playing Take It or Leave It with them. So, the way that they did it was um, we would do like trivia on this one thing, and based off like what you got on the trivia, then you'll play Take It or Leave It. And it's basically like the deal or no deal. And it's been pretty cool with people who have gotten stuff. We had somebody who's gotten $100, which is the max, and we've had like a whole lot of other people get other stuff too so it's been really cool doing that so that's what i would suggest if you're at school you need something to do get involved do some stuff you never know what can happen get some prizes from stuff one time they did bingo and i got a prize from that so do some stuff you know be engaged don't just sit here and do nothing okay and then when i'm done with that let me finish this paper this reflection paper for tonight i had to i just restarted my computer so it's getting restarted right now and load it up and then i need to read for one of my classes and do a small quiz today the quiz should only be five questions hopefully not hopefully it's not too much and i think it's only like 20 something pages for me to read too so it shouldn't be too bad but it's nine o'clock right now so who knows but when i do that i'll talk with y'all after Okay, y'all, so I finished the little game that we had going on earlier. It was really cool, and so far, I did finish the journal that I told y'all that I was doing earlier, all my stuff, so that's done, and I was going to start reading for that chapter that I told you guys I was going to read and do the quiz for, but I was going to read that last week, actually, before I left to go home but the quiz was never uploaded. So I decided to look and see if the quiz was uploaded because the teacher did say earlier today that she was going to upload it tonight. And I checked, it's 10.52 p.m. right now and it's not uploaded. So I'm not going to read it. So what I like to do for these tests, since I am able to take them whenever I want to, I read and as soon as I'm done reading, I like to take my test. So all the information is still fresh in my mind and it doesn't really require me to go back and study or something like such. So I'm gonna wait until the quiz gets open so I could do that. Okay y'all, so I am done with all the work that I said I was gonna do and I'm about to get some dinner for the day. Like I said, I'm not making anything for dinner today, but I'm gonna have some leftovers from what my mom which is one of my favorite meals, so I'm gonna show y'all. Um, We have, in this thing, let me open it so y'all can for real, for real see. It looks weird if you don't know. If you're not a Caribbean, you probably wouldn't know what this is, but that is called Akian saltfish. It's a vegetable, or it's fruit, I really can't remember. <laughs> but it's a meal that Caribbean eat. Usually they would eat it for breakfast, but in my house we eat it for dinner a lot. So I have that. And it tastes amazing, y'all. You should really try it. You get it from stores like H Mart, and the can usually costs like $10. So, like, it's not a cheap meal at all, but you should most definitely try it. So, I'm just about to warm that up, and literally, that's probably all I'm gonna do for the night. I'm probably gonna watch some Sister Sister on Netflix because I love that show. Like, when I was younger, one summer, I watched the whole thing. Like, I just really love that show. So, I'm probably gonna watch that and then get ready to go to bed. So that is it for today's vlog and I will see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, hey y'all. So let me take this off, I'm outside. But I just left work. Not too much on the fit, not too much. Um, I have class in like an hour and I think I'm actually going in person to class today. It's not too far. So I think I'm gonna stop by the room first and get some food. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I don't know if I wanna like eat my lunch for the day or if I just wanna eat a snack because I literally just ate breakfast like two, two and maybe a half-ish hours ago. So I think I'm going to, yeah, people are looking. <laughs> so funny. Hey, but I think I'm going to um, go get a snack. I don't know what snack I'm gonna eat, but I'm gonna go get a snack and then I'm gonna get ready to go to class. Okay, y'all. So I swear, I swear I just got into my room and I decided to check my phone. I always check my phone when I'm in the elevator and stuff because I gotta get in the elevator to get to my room. 
And tomorrow I saw my teacher left an announcement for the class today. So I'm like, okay, let me go see what the announcement's about. She canceled class. I guess it's nice outside, it's a nice day, it's not too cold, it's not too warm, so I guess that's why she wants us to go out and just relax. So, we don't have class today, but I do still need to go over in the direction of my class to pick up my uniform shirt for work this weekend. So I'm going to talk to my boss to see if I can go pick up the shirt earlier than I was expecting to, and then I'll come back to the room. So, I guess that's a quick end to the day, I only have one class today. And that's it. So I guess I'm going to get started on some other work. I expected to do a whole lot of reading today too. So I'm going to do that. And I have to interview one person today as well for my entrepreneurship class again. Uh, I'm about to get on the bus. I haven't showed y'all how the bus looks at UGA. So you can't go in the front no more because of Miss Roro. And you just walk in through the back. And you find you a seat. This is where you can sit, where you can't sit, all of that stuff. And then you have to leave right back out through the back too. Okay y'all, so I'm actually in the stadium right now, but I'm walking out. I just got my uniform and my ID and all that for work, or my badge for work. I'm excited y'all, it's getting so close. I'm excited but at the same time, I am still like a little nervous because I don't know what the school is doing. I don't know how game day is going to look with social distancing and all that. but. I'm still excited because this job is like one of my favorite jobs on campus. I love my bosses. I love my managers. They're amazing. And the people that we interact with are amazing as well. So I'm really excited for that. Right now, now that I have this, I'm really done for the day. I can relax. So I'm going to go to my room and then I'm going to heat up some more spinach from yesterday that y'all saw me make for lunch. Then I need to send out some Zoom invites for interviews with other people. Um, what else? Then I need to read, like I told y'all before, I got to do some reading. And then I'm really done for the day. I'm probably gonna take a nap because I'm really tired. I am really tired. I was at work earlier today and I was so tired. I wanted to fall asleep, but I was good. I made it through, but um, I'm excited. So let me get to the room. Cause y'all see all these stairs I gotta walk up? Too many stairs. Okay y'all, so it is Thursday. I I just remembered, I did not end my vlog with y'all yesterday, but literally I just did what I told y'all I was going to do. All I did when I came back to the room is I interviewed my classmate, that was pretty good. She interviewed me. Y'all, I'm in classes with amazing people that are gonna be doing amazing things in the future. It is crazy. But that interview went pretty well. After that, I ended up getting on the phone with my family. I just love talking with them. I'm a really big family person if you know me. So being on the phone with them just makes my day every single day. So I talk to them all the time. I was on the phone with them for a good bit of time. Then after I got off the phone with them, I took a nap because y'all, I've, I've been so tired lately. So I took a nap. When I woke back up, my show was on. I've been watching um, House of Pains. That's the new um, like little re-up of it. I was watching that, then I watched the show. I'm not sure what the name is called. It's like Show Us Your Voice. It comes on after Mass Singer on Fox. I watched that and that was amazing. And then I went back because I missed some of um, House of Pain. I haven't done much today. I went to one of my classes, my other class, we didn't meet oh <laughs> my other class we didn't meet for because we were supposed to do interviews so i interviewed someone today the first interview i don't know what happened i'm not gonna lie i had it set up with the girl to do the interview and i was sitting on the zoom call for like 20 25 minutes just waiting and i mean if you know me you know i don't i'm a really busy person so i don't really like when I don't like when my time gets wasted, so I was kind of upset about that, but at the same time, I am trying to interview college students who are overwhelmed, so I most definitely get if something did pop up. There's a lot going on, so I most definitely get that. It's just, I would appreciate if that was said beforehand, but I mean, it's whatever. Then I just interviewed my second person, which is actually somebody that I knew from back in the day, back in high school. Introduce yourself. His okay, name is Horatio J. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's like, okay, 
So basically, I have a YouTube channel. It's called Just Horatio, and I just released a single as well. It's called Chasing Me. So you know, just go hook. And go check him out because he's gonna be a big producer one day, okay? Name it and claim it, okay? So make sure y'all go stream his music, go listen to his music. He's gonna be doing amazing things. He's in school right now for music production, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's doing music production right now. So stay tuned. And now, literally, I need to leave for work. I have eight minutes to get to work, so I'm about to go do that right now. I'm gonna show y'all the fit for the day. Not nothing too crazy. Let me turn the light on so y'all can see. So I just have on, I really need to change this bra because I don't really like strap showing. But I have this little Mickey Mouse shirt along with just some regular jeans and flats again. I wasn't sure if I should have did my, um, I wasn't sure if I should have did Vans instead of these, but I mean, these were the closest things to me, seeing as though I need to get going. But I really like this. If y'all didn't know, I was a Disney dreamer. So I really love all things Disney. I love wearing Disney. I love sporting them. So yeah, literally I need to go right now. So I'm gonna pack up my computer and all that and get to work. And then after work, I have an hour break and then I'll probably talk to y'all once I get to that hour break and then tell y'all what I'm gonna do from there. Okay, y'all, so I am back in the room. I just got back from my second shift of working. So I'm done for the day. I'll be in the room for the rest of the night. And that was pretty good. The first shift, I I didn't really do much work the first shift. I was really distracted the first shift. But the second one, I got interviewed by somebody in my entrepreneurship class for one of their ideas. And then I interviewed someone. I, I actually interviewed the girl that I missed earlier interviewing. And she just overslept, which I totally get because I overslept earlier this week, like I told y'all, I oversleep all the time because I'm sleep deprived and I need to go to sleep more often. So I totally get that, but that was really cool catching up with her and talking about her experiences in college, which is so weird how you don't notice that so many people have the same like feelings, the same experiences that you're going through in college. Like this semester has been really hard to really meet people and all of that because you can't really go out of your room, but at the same time, you still want to meet people and talk to people. So I was like, that is, I totally get that because I do this and I love talking on camera and in person. I am pretty, if you know me, I am pretty like animated and I am pretty like extroverted, but it does take me some time to get warmed up to people. So it's super hard. Like a lot of people here think that I'm really shy and I can be shy at the beginning, but once I get to meet people, I get really comfortable. So I was like, I totally get what you're going through. But yeah, speaking of that, that really is a big thing that happens in college that I feel like a lot of people don't talk about, but it's, it's real. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to read for my class to take the test that I was telling y'all earlier. So I just brought up the textbook that I'm going to be doing for today. So we're going to be focusing on adolescence and everything that happens in the body and the mind during that time for adolescence. And I'll be taking my notes on my iPad. This is the syllabus um i'll be that's still not right but i'll be taking notes on my ipad for class and this on an ad right now but i like to listen to summer walker while i am taking class i'm not sure who this is but it is a summer walker playlist and i just like listening to that sort of playlist while i'm doing work because it's like more calm music that i like listening to and it's not music that I'm gonna be like getting really distracted to. So um, let me read right now because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be up reading for a long time because it takes me forever to read. So I'm gonna do that and then when I'm done, I'll catch back up with y'all. Okay y'all, so I am done with my text. Y'all see I'm in my bonnet. I am about to get ready to go to sleep. Well, I need to eat first and probably watch some Sister Sister again. But I'm done with my test, I'm done with the reading. I got one question wrong that I kind of actually really didn't even know what the answer was, but I think I did really good for that, just only get one question wrong. So I did that. It's literally 1.54 in the morning. So I'm not gonna make dinner even though I don't really have any dinner. Like I, let, I ate all my leftovers that I had, so I had to make dinner tonight, but I don't have time to really make dinner for a pro. So I'm probably just gonna warm up a chicken patty and do that because that's just really easy. It's easier for me to make. It doesn't take as long. And 
I'm going to watch some Sister Sister and just relax. So let me go do that because y'all, it is so late. Like, look, it is so late right now and I really need to fix my sleeping schedule. It is terrible. But I mean, hey, this is college. This is real life, baby, get into it, okay? that guess what day it is it's friday it's friday it's the end of the weekend oh so what you gonna do hey see my mask coming off cutting up cutting up <laughs> so today is friday i haven't done much today as for you the sun is nice and beaming melanin popping it feels amazing outside all i've done today was i had a little bit of breakfast and I went to work for two hours. I left work, I didn't have enough time to make lunch. Once again, I need to start making lunch the day before so I have enough time to eat it. But I didn't have enough time to make lunch before I came to my class, which I'm about to go to right now. But um, I had a like tangerine, mandarin, I'm not sure which one it was, but I had a tangerine for lunch and I'm about to um, snack on this Lord Darn Bar. Do I have it? Yeah, I'm about to snack on this while I'm in class as well. And that's about it for today. Y'all, it feels amazing out here. Like, honestly, it's a nice Friday. It's a nice Friday. <laughs> Put my mask on. She playing music right now. So I just got back to the room. Now I have some time. I think I have like 30 minutes before I gotta head out to go to work. So I'm just gonna chill. I don't have enough time to make lunch now either from earlier. So I'm probably just gonna have a fruit cup. And I think that should be good because I just finished my snack from earlier that I showed y'all that I was gonna have. So I think I'm just gonna have this and then I'll probably just keep a snack on me for while I'm at work. I'll be working for four hours. When I go to work, I need to interview another customer for my entrepreneurship class. So I'm gonna do that. And I think that's the first I gotta interview. And then I really hope I can stay focused because I like reading while I'm at work because I don't have as many distractions. When I'm at work, I just listen to music and do my work. But because I know there could be anybody coming to me to ask me any questions at any time, I try to stay off my phone. So I'm more focused when I'm there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get more ahead on the class that I did yesterday and the class that I read for yesterday, I'm going to read for the next chapter right now and try to read that chapter and take the test for that chapter as well too. Because I just, I want to be done with it, especially now that I know that there's another week that I'm going to be going home. So I'm do that. Hopefully I'm successful with getting all that done tonight and then I'm going to still vlog with y'all tomorrow too. So. I'll probably talk to you guys either when I'm done interviewing the girl or maybe when I get back to the room tonight because I'm going to make a dinner. So, yes, i see y'all when I'm done with work, probably most likely. Okay, y'all, so I am back in the room, as y'all can see, from work. All I did when I left work, I came straight here and I finished my reading because I told y'all I wanted to be done with my reading. So, I did that and I took a test. I only got two questions wrong, which isn't bad considering that I was taking a test for a chapter that the teacher hasn't even taught on yet. I'm like two chapters ahead of the class, I think, but that's only because I really don't like waiting to the last minute because I know when the deadline is for these things and I know the other classwork that I have to do, so I didn't want to wait to the last minute. But I, there's still another book that we have to read for the class, so that's how I want to get on. That's why I want to get ahead on this because we have two books for this class. We have to read chapters for both books every week and we have to take quizzes on both books every single week. So I'm right with the class with that book because that's the book that she teaches off of in class. But the book that I took the test on today, she doesn't teach on in class. So I don't want to wait to the last minute and then have to be rushing because like I said, it takes me a long time to read. So when it comes to reading, I have to be really proactive about it and not procrastinate like how I will with other assignments that don't require reading or anything. So, now that I've done that, honestly, it is 11.30 right now, but it's not too bad considering that tomorrow I get to sleep in a little bit until game, until the game starts since I have to work the game. But um, what I'm about to do right now is I really need to make dinner. I can't push it off no more. I need to make dinner tonight 
and I need to make lunch for tomorrow tonight just in case I sleep in a little too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm about to go to the kitchen and I'm about to get started cooking. I need to make my spinach because that's gonna be my lunch, of course. I'm gonna make the rest of it that I have. I have two more boxes. So I'm gonna make the rest of that and then I'm gonna be doing turkey burgers and broccoli for dinner. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna show y'all me making the, y'all already saw how I make the spinach earlier, but I'll probably just show y'all a little bit of the turkey burgers and broccoli when I do that. It's nothing special. I don't really add nothing extra to it. But just in case y'all wanna see how I do it at school, I'm gonna show y'all that. And then, you know, I'm gonna watch some sister sister while I'm eating it. And then I'm just getting off the day and then sleep. I got a big game day tomorrow, y'all. Game days, I'm always on my feet, like forever. But it's gonna be interesting seeing how game day is now that everybody can't really go to the game. So I really wanna see how it's gonna be this year. But let me stop cooking because it is getting really late and I don't like to eat. Well, I do like to eat late, but I'm hungry. So let me get to doing this and I'll catch back up with y'all. We got some cooking going on. Still, still cooking to my liking, but we have one thing over here. We got the broccoli boiling some broccoli. You see that steam? You see that steam? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Hold up. It's too hot in the kitchen. It's too hot in the kitchen. Then over here, I have the turkey burgers. I'm going to be making some more, though, but this skillet is smaller than this one. So that's what I got going on there. And then we're watching some YouTube. So this is all I'm gonna be doing. When I'm done with this, I need to take a shower and then I'm gonna eat dinner when I'm done. Cause I wanna take a shower before, but if you cook food, especially food that has like a sort of smell to it, you know that you would end up going to bed smelling like whatever the food was. So that's how I'm cooking right now. But I'm gonna do this. Then when I eat, probably gonna show y'all how it looks or whatever. I'll probably just show y'all me about to go to bed. So, y'all see y'all when I'm done cooking, cause I'm gonna be standing up for a hot second. <laughs> okay, y'all, so the day is coming to the end. Y'all see I got the button on, so y'all know what that means. It's about to be time to go to bed. But I'm in night clothes for tonight. And I, I realized I haven't showed y'all my night clothes this week. <laughs> but um, I'm in night clothes for tonight. And it's like 2 a.m., literally, it's 2 a.m. So I need to hurry up and get to bed. But I, I get to sleep in tomorrow. Yeah, I get to sleep in, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I'll show y'all my dinner. Um, The turkey burger is over there. You could barely see it. <laughs> and now the vegetables on the side. So the way that I like to do my dinner when I'm here is I usually do a meat and a vegetable. I can go in depth in this in another video if y'all wanna really know, but I do a meat and a vegetable. And usually when I do the meat, I just do one thing of the meat, unless it's like shrimp, then of course you do more, but I do one thing of the meat, and then when it comes to the, with the vegetable, I literally just do as much as I want, because I really love vegetables, and I don't add any sauce to the vegetables, I don't really add much of any seasoning to the vegetables, like I don't even add as much seasoning as I do with the spinach to this stuff. So I just pack up as many vegetables as I want, because I really love them, and you can eat a whole lot of vegetables and not, um, and not be like a whole lot of calories. So that's what I do, but the way that I do still portion control it a little bit because I don't I don't like do cup grams, whatever that other people be doing. That's why I kind of like putting it in here because instead of, I put it in this little thing instead of putting it on a plate because when you put things on a plate, you build up and you build wide. And this thing is not that wide and it's not that far up either. So I don't end up overeating or anything like that. So I really love eating like that just to give a little tidbit on how I do my dinners while I'm here. And I'm just about to eat this and watch Sister Sister, y'all already know. And then when I'm done with that, I just brush my teeth, wash my face, and go to bed. Okay, y'all, it is Saturday and it is game day. As you can see, I'm in my uniform. I need to get ready to go. I have to be at the stadium at four. It's 3.14 right now, but that's for long. So I just don't wanna be late. But I'll show y'all the uniform. Nothing special. And it's supposed to be cold, so I put a shirt on under my shirt. And I have, like, hoops in the shirt. <laughs> and I have some leggings on to under these. And I put on some boots. So hopefully it's not too, too cold. 
but it's supposed to be like 50 something degrees by the time I'm coming back to the room. So that's when it's gonna get cold. And I'm wearing a jacket and that's it. Okay, y'all. I'm inside the stadium. I need to change it into our work mask and then put all my stuff on, everything on. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm in the stadium. I'm gonna show y'all how it looks. game day is over it has been a saturday in athens it is now sunday um i got back to the room maybe either right at 12 or right before 12 like midnight i'm it's like 12 30 ish right now i'm probably i probably won't eat dinner because i literally just had my break for work at like 10 so i'm not really hungry i ate really good while i was there i ate um I had like a pulled pork sandwich. I didn't eat the whole thing though because it was really big. And because I had mac and cheese. If you know me, I love mac and cheese. So I had a good amount of mac and cheese with some pulled pork sandwich. I had a cookie or two. So I have the rest of my pulled pork sandwich in my refrigerator with some cookies. And yeah, I think I might just eat this orange. I don't know if I showed y'all this earlier, but I might just eat this. I was supposed to eat it earlier, but I didn't. So I'm probably gonna just eat this and have some water because I am pretty full still from earlier. And that's probably gonna be it. I'm probably just gonna watch some TV, play some of my game on my iPad, and that's it. I have to wake up to work tomorrow. My other regular job that I was working this whole entire week, I have to work that at noon. So I'm probably just gonna go to sleep so I can actually get some rest and wake up on time for work. But other than that, this has been a week in my life. I hope that you guys have liked that. I hope that you guys have seen a little bit more what it is like to be on campus with quarantine and all that going on. And I hope that you guys also like seeing what the football game was like. Because if you know anything about UGA, if you know anything about Georgia or the dogs, y'all know that our fan base is really big and campus is always packed out for football games. So today, it was kind of weird seeing it. Like there wasn't that many people out there. From where the areas that I walked, there were no tailgates at all, because you're not supposed to tailgate, but still, there was nothing. It was like a whole different place. And I showed you guys what the arena looked like. So it still was kind of packed, but compared to our regular games where you cannot see seats, people can barely find a seat, it was most definitely not packed at all. But I showed y'all what that looked like if you saw the clip from before this. And it just been a pretty nice week. This next week, I don't have too much going on. This is probably one of my busiest weeks. We have another football game next week coming up. But this has been a week in my life. A whole lot. You have seen me from eating lunch to not eating lunch, making food to not being able to make food, then making a whole lot of food, just everything. So I hope that you guys have liked this. If y'all want to see more vlogs, more shorter vlogs and days like I'm doing more stuff, let me know and I most definitely make that for you. Stay tuned and subscribe so you're able to see all the other videos that I make here and you don't miss a thing. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at I am Sincerely Drew to see more of me and everything that I do and to see more daily updates on what I'm doing in a day because, of course, I post on Instagram a little bit more often than YouTube. And 
remember that i love you guys comment down below anything i love talking with y'all in the comments y'all are always so nice so remember that i love you guys and i'll see y'all in the next video bye